Yo, yo, what's going on? Y'all, it's your boy Devon Toro in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon Raw tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon Raw tutorial, I'll be showing you guys the power of the de -esser. I'm going to get you guys to finally understand the power of the de -esser. I feel like it's something that is very overlooked, and it's such an important and powerful tool, and there's so many different ways to use the de in ways that probably you are actually uh, coming into. Now, there's people that use it for basically siblings, which is the main focus surrounding the de -esser. but there's also another way to use, use it for harshness, not even in the high end, but more of the mid-range. There's a few different ways to use a de -esser, and I like to use multiple stages of it when it comes to vocals or other sound signals. I don't just use one de -esser. I actually use multiple stages. Now, let's get to the tutorial. So long story short, let me play you the vocal that we're gonna be using today. Uh, it's one of my own songs called Cancel Culture. Just gonna play you the vocal. There is literally just some compression and a little bit of a roll off on the low end. That's it. I'm gonna play this for you right now. You believe what he say about your boy, don't you? That I just wanna hit and I don't wanna know you. Yeah. Can't you tell they're just trying to get rid of competition? Okay, so you hear the vocal. Uh, it's a decent recording. Um, do I hear some harshness, some S's, some siblings? Yes, I hear problems with the vocal that I would like to attack and fix. And I'm going to use the de in order to mitigate those issues that I hear. Now, before we go any further, I'd be remiss to ask you guys to comment, like, and subscribe to keep this channel alive and going. You can also visit helpmedevon.info at any time to get some of our presets, uh, vocal chains, uh, and a bunch of other goodies as and actual tracked out um, that you can actually purchase on our site now. I'll leave that in the description below if you guys want to deal and start to actually mess with tracked out instrumentals. Now back to the tutorial. Okay, so long story short, there are probably two stages of the de that I like to use, or two instances of the de -esser. One is to attack harshness. So first and foremost, let's attack the harshness of this vocal. So here it is. So here's the de I'm using. I'm using a Waves de -esser, pretty standard de that a lot of people have. Now here's the thing. What is a de in essence, right? Long story short, a de is a style or a type of compressor. What kind of compressor is it? It's a compressor that basically hones in on a specific frequency range. Meaning, when you open up your compressor and you say, hey compressor, compress, it compresses the entire uh, sound source in its totality. Now what the de does is, it decides, depending on what you tell it, what frequency band do you want to compress? So you specify the frequency range that you actually want to compress instead of its totality. Let's take a look. So you see this de right here you see that I have the frequency set to 4,237 hertz. This is the range that it's in right here. Now you might be saying to yourself, this looks familiar. And you're right, it's basically a multi-band compressor with just a single band. When you start to look at a de I want you to start thinking about it in terms of a multi-band compressor. Being that a multi-band compressor, basically you just pick what band of uh, frequency range you want to attenuate or expand, and it attacks just that independently. That's exactly what a de is, and that's why you can use it in different instances to basically get control on vocals, contain harshness, or even siblings. So, with that being said, let's dive in. So, long story short, let me just explain a few parameters so that you can be more versed in the de for your own music. I set the frequency to 4,237 hertz, as you see right here. Then it says type. What the type does is, and a lot of times for you, uh, what you do is this. Take a look at what it does. When I click this type, it basically says, okay, anything from 4,237 hertz and above, that will be attenuated as far as what we compress or de -est. If I click this right here, as far as this kind of like notch kind of vibe, it basically is saying, hey, I want you to only affect within a frequency range of 4,237 hertz. Now, granted, it's fixed as far as its range above and below of what it insinuates, but when you click this, it'll basically give you an idea of, okay, I'm only attacking basically a small range within this frequency range, as opposed to clicking this version of the type where it is going to be attacking everything above the frequency range you select. So always know that that's basically how it works. 
So for now, I want to hold in on a very specific frequency range, not a wide band, but a very small split band that it's right there. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Now, for a lot of you, it's you'll see uh, on the mode, you'll see split or wide band. To be honest, try to go with split for now. When If you have that in your DSR, I just go with split. Wide band will basically do uh, some other things, and it's a little bit more in-depth and more... Um, and more, uh, I don't want to confuse you if that makes any sense. Stick to split, you'll be just fine. So I stick to split. Okay, now it works like a typical compressor. So if I use the threshold and bring it down, it will attenuate harder. Let's take a look at how I have it set already. I'm going to bypass this back and forth, take a listen to what it's doing to the vocal. I'm DSing at the 4,237 hertz range, which is basically that pain frequency range, that three kilohertz frequency range, to get rid of some of that harshness. Check this out. You believe what they say about your boy, don't you? That I just want to hit and I don't want to know you. Yeah. Can't you tell they're just trying to get rid of competition? Forget them hitters, forget them rumors. They can never win it, we just ignoring. They mad that a young hitter scoring on your car. So to my ear, there's this tone in the vocal when it's disengaged that I can tell is going to be annoying to my ear. It's that three kilohertz frequency. I can tell that there's a little bit of that kind of poking out and I wanna control and tame that, why? Because I know when I start to compress, EQ, boost, that more of that element is going to come out and it's going to be harsh on your listener's ear. So I like to use a DL to give me some control over that. Now, what are my settings for my de to get a control on that frequency range of harshness? Long story short, if you look right here, it says range, right? What is the range? All the ranges is saying, hey, if I am compressing or de how much by dB do you want me to bring it down? I told it to bring it down at most 4.6 dB. Now, if I took this compressor, let's copy these settings. Excuse me, if I took this de it is a compressor, and brought this thing down to 18, 18, negative 18 on my range, it's going to say when I compress, the most that I will compress that frequency range is 18 dB. That is the floor. That is the max. So basically, the range is you saying the most that you want to compress. So check this out. You believe what they say about your boy, don't you? That I just want to hit and I don't want to know you. So it's taking out a lot of the frequency when it's compressing. Now, granted, I didn't want 18 dB gone when it hears a lot of that 4,237 hertz frequency range coming over the threshold. I didn't want to take 18 out. So what you do is you find a spot where you feel like, okay, it's taking out enough where it doesn't really rip uh, so much out of the vocal. So I'm going to bring the range up until it feels a little bit better. You believe what they say about your boy, don't you? That I just want to hit and I don't want to know you. Yeah. Can't you tell they just trying to get rid of competition? Forget them hitters, forget them rumors. They can never win it, we just ignoring they mad. So I found it about negative 5.6 again, basically. It felt kind of nominal. It didn't feel like it was too much. It didn't feel like I was doing something um, uh, that was taking too much out of the vocal, but it felt a lot easier on my ear and it felt a lot calmer. And this is gonna help you so much because now when you go and compress this rank, the entire uh, vocal after this has been done, it's gonna feel a lot more lighter on your ear, a lot, a lot better, a lot cleaner and less harsh because as you start to boost um, with compression, with analog saturation, with all these things, you're going to get more of what was already there. So use the de uh, use it early within your vocal chain as far as in that harshness frequency range, just to combat some of that and just to bring that down because you're going to start bringing stuff up and it's going to become more overbearing. Okay. So that's just one instance of de that I've used. I'm gonna show you my second instance on the same vocal. Now, a technique that I like to use a lot is, is this. Sometimes, or most of the time, in excuse me, a lot of times, in modern day music, our music is starting, it's getting brighter, right? Like in a lot of modern day music, it sounds bright. In a lot of vocals, the vocals sound super bright. A lot of songs, not always, but sometimes. There's a technique that you can use, and I like to use this in my high-end trick, is basically, I like to feed the de a lot of high end. Now, what do I mean? What does this accomplish? If I feed the de a lot of high end, 
I am now combating that high end that I'm boosting while at the same time getting a lot more high end out of the vocal. I'll just show you instead of actually explain it to you and then I'll go back and explain again. Okay, cool. So let's open up this right here. I'm gonna take the de off and I'm gonna boost a crap ton of high end into this vocal. Listen closely. You believe what he say about your boy, don't you? That I just want to hit and I don't want to know you. Yeah. Can't you tell they're just trying to get rid of competition? Forget them hitters, forget them. Okay, I boosted the crap out of this vocal. I boosted basically an, uh, an, un, an insane amount of high end into the vocal, right? Like I boosted a lot of high end. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a de and I'm gonna feed this now super bright vocal into a de and see what it sounds like. Check this out. Without first, and I'll bypass back and forth. You believe what he say about your boy, don't you? That I just want to hit and I don't want to know you. Yeah. Can't you tell they're just trying to get rid of competition? It sounds super smooth. And remember, we just boosted a lot of high end into that vocal. Now, granted, can I do some more DSing? Yes, absolutely. But you get my point as far as feeding high end into the de and what that can accomplish. You can actually accomplish a much brighter vocal, but it's controlled off the strength of your feeding that de -esser. And I've seen a lot of engineers do this uh, as far as putting a bunch of high end into a vocal, but at the same time, adding a lot of de to the top end to kind of make sure that it's controlled as far as that's concerned. So that's another powerful way that you can use de to feed the de some high end and then basically attenuate it. I can literally take the range of this uh, high end and bring it down some more. So let's take the range and let's see how much smoother I can get this. Check this out. You believe what he say about your boy, don't you? That I just wanna hit and I don't wanna know you. Yeah. Can't you tell they're just trying to get rid of competition? Forget them hitters, forget them rumors. Interesting sound. It's something that I would like for you guys to experiment with. Try to find um, a new way to kind of approach vocals when it comes to just playing with the brightness and high end and things of that nature. You can see that I actually put this in this type for this particular vocal because I did want to affect everything above 7,000 hertz and above, which is kind of like that sibilance SE kind of range. So I wanted to attack everything above that and get a de to combat that as you see what I did here. And that is it. So long story short, that was my tutorial on the power of a de and finally getting you guys to understand what a de is. It's just a multi-band compressor. Don't be intimidated by it. If you don't have a de guess what? If you have a multi-band compressor, you have a de in your system. Use this, understand what the range does now, the threshold, the type, understanding these things will allow you to approach it a lot stronger. You can always go back to the video and understand it in its totality. Once again, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Also, let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments below or any questions, comments, or concerns that you have below. Make sure you follow us at Help Me Devon on the Instagram. Also, you make sure you can go on over to helpmedevon.info at any time during the video to get some of our templates, vocal chains. We have a bunch of stuff for Pro Tools, Studio One, Ableton, FL Studio, Cubase, and Logic. Um, at any time, stock versions are available as well. Also, make sure you to join our Discord community with a lot of aspiring engineers like yourself giving game to each other every single day. I hope that was helpful, and until next time. <laughs>